Pluto, the fascinating dwarf planet on the fringes of our solar system, continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Despite being reclassified as a dwarf planet, Pluto remains one of the most intriguing celestial bodies in our cosmic neighborhood. In this article, we will present real images of Pluto, share vital background information, and discuss significant facts about this distant world. If you enjoy our content, please support us by giving a thumbs up. For many years, Pluto held the status of the ninth planet in our solar system. It was widely recognized as an integral part of our planetary family until 2006 when the definition of a planet was revised. Following this change, Pluto was officially categorized as a dwarf planet. Like many other celestial bodies, Pluto derives its name from Roman mythology, where Pluto is the god of the underworld. The first spacecraft to visit Pluto was NASA's New Horizons probe, which launched on January 19, 2006. It made a close approach to Pluto, coming within 12,500 kilometers of its surface. During this historic mission, New Horizons collected invaluable data and captured breathtaking images of the dwarf planet. These images revealed Pluto in all its stunning detail and helped scientists gain new insights into its composition and geological features. But what exactly do we know about Pluto today? Discovery and naming of Pluto. The discovery of Pluto dates back to February 18, 1930. However, astronomers had suspected its existence for some time before it was officially detected. The confirmation of Pluto's presence resulted from extensive photographic comparisons of the night sky. The credit for its discovery goes to astronomers at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, who finally managed to prove the existence of this distant celestial body. Since the observatory had the privilege of identifying Pluto, they were also responsible for naming it. The inspiration for the name came from an unexpected source, an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney. She suggested the name Pluto, referencing the Roman god of the underworld. Her proposal impressed astronomers so much that they adopted it without hesitation. Pluto's size and location in the solar system. Pluto is significantly smaller than Earth's moon. While our moon has a diameter of approximately 3,474 kilometers, Pluto measures only about 2,274 kilometers across. It resides in the Kuiper Belt, a distant region of the solar system that contains thousands of icy bodies and other celestial objects. In fact, Pluto was the first object discovered in this remote area of space. Unlike Earth, which completes a full orbit around the Sun in 365 days, Pluto takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single revolution. This long orbital period is due to its immense distance from the Sun, which averages about 6 billion kilometers. Because of this vast separation, the Sun appears as nothing more than a bright star in Pluto's sky. Pluto's climate and surface conditions. Due to its great distance from the Sun, Pluto experiences extreme cold. Surface temperatures never rise above minus 218 degrees Celsius. This frigid environment makes it one of the coldest places in the solar system. The dim sunlight reaching Pluto does little to warm its icy surface. Pluto's surface features a variety of geological structures, including mountains, valleys, craters, and vast glacier. One of the most striking features on Pluto is a large heart-shaped glacier made primarily of frozen nitrogen. This enormous ice formation is believed to have influenced the planet's rotational axis over time. Challenges of observing Pluto from Earth. Because of its remote location and faint brightness, Pluto cannot be observed with the naked eye from Earth. Even the most advanced telescopes struggle to capture detailed images of this dwarf planet without the assistance of space probes. Before New Horizons, much of what we knew about Pluto was based on indirect observations and educated guesses. Early theories suggested that Pluto was once a moon of Neptune. However, modern research indicates that Pluto and the Kuiper Belt likely formed together from remnants left over from the birth of the outer solar system. Pluto's mass consists mainly of rock and water ice, making it a unique hybrid of a terrestrial and icy world. Pluto's moons. Pluto has at least five known moons. The largest, Charon, is so massive compared to Pluto that the two celestial bodies are sometimes considered a double system. The other moons, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, are significantly smaller but still play an important role in the dynamics of the Pluto system. The Historic New Horizons Mission NASA's New Horizons mission was part of the broader New Frontiers program, designed to explore our solar system using unmanned spacecraft. As the first probe to visit Pluto, New Horizons had several crucial objectives. These included mapping Pluto's surface, studying its geological features, analyzing its atmosphere, and capturing high-resolution images. When New Horizons launched in early 2006, Pluto was still classified as a full-fledged planet. By the time the probe reached Pluto in 2015, the celestial body had already been reclassified as a dwarf planet. 
Despite this change, the mission was monumental in expanding our understanding of Pluto. First Real Images of Pluto On April 15, 2015, NASA released the first detailed images of Pluto and its largest moon, Charon. These images marked the beginning of a new era in our understanding of this mysterious world. The high-resolution photographs provided invaluable insights into Pluto's surface. Composition, revealing a landscape filled with vast icy plains, towering mountains, and deep canyons. One of the most surprising discoveries was Pluto's dynamic and complex surface. Scientists had expected Pluto to be a relatively inactive world, but new horizons revealed evidence of geological activity, including possible cryovolcanoes. Unlike traditional volcanoes that erupt with molten rock, Pluto's cryovolcanoes are believed to spew ice-cold water and frozen gases. Pluto's atmosphere. Unlike Earth's stable atmosphere, Pluto's atmosphere is temporary. It forms when the dwarf planet moves closer to the sun, causing surface ice to sublimate and create a thin layer of nitrogen gas. As Pluto drifts farther from the sun, this atmosphere freezes and collapses back onto the surface. This cycle is unique and adds to Pluto's enigmatic nature. One of the most remarkable images captured by New Horizons shows Pluto's atmosphere illuminated by sunlight. The glow of nitrogen gas encircling the planet provides scientists with valuable clues about its composition and behavior. The Continuing Journey of New Horizons Although New Horizons has long since passed Pluto, its mission is far from over. The spacecraft is now exploring the outermost regions of the solar system, where it is expected to encounter new and previously unexplored objects. By studying these distant celestial bodies, scientists hope to learn more about the early history of our solar system. Pluto remains one of the most fascinating celestial objects in our solar system. Despite its reclassification as a dwarf planet, its rich history, unique characteristics, and ongoing scientific discoveries continue to make it an object of immense interest. From its discovery in 1930 to the groundbreaking images captured by New Horizons, Pluto has captured the imagination of generations. What are your thoughts on Pluto? Do you believe it should be reclassified as a planet, or does it belong in the category of dwarf planets? We welcome your opinions, suggestions, and questions in the comments. Stay tuned for more exciting space exploration content. See you soon.